Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to, to talk about this Sherman tank. This is the M4A3AA, or is it Sherman tank? This was one of the latest Sherman variant that was produced during the war. This is armed with the 76.2 millimeter. And this video, we are going to talk about the frontal armor of this tank, as well as the overall armor of the tank in general. So as you can see, the, uh, this the frontal armor here. Accordingly, it's about 2.0 inch thick, and uh, we are going to try to probe it if it's really 2.5 inch. Okay, so we are going to set this up, uh, this uh, burner caliper to 2.5 inch. Now that's 2.5 inch or about uh, 63.5 millimeter. So let's stick with the 2.5 inch. Now we can try to do some measurement over here. So it looks like, so if I'm going to measure here, if you notice the the ridge of the welding, the ridge of the welding is supposed to be here. This is the midway. Now if we are going to place the 2.5 inch here, looks like it's not uh, 2.5 inch because uh, as you see, it does not go halfway of the welding ridge. Look at that. See? I think, uh, this steel plate is uh, more than 2.5 inch so if i'm going to increase it for like for instance make it 2.6 or we're going to take more sample measurement over here so look like uh, it's about 2.66 inch and now if we're going to convert it to metrics that would be 67.7 millimeter thick so basically if you take a look on the internet it says that uh, the thickness of this uh, the frontal plate of this Sherman tank is about 2.5 but uh, according to our actual measurement if you consider the fact that you have to we have to measure it uh, halfway of the welding reeds then it turns out that it's about uh, 67.7 millimeter or 2.66 inch 